Hello everybody and greetings once again from Wanabago Tobles here in Middlebury, Indiana. And uh, this is the hike. And uh, in, in a video, in a follow-up follow video, Adam is going to tell us a little more about the hike and the exoskeleton and all this stuff. But today we're going to do a quick short video here uh, just to, to highlight, uh, you know, some of the highlights of the hike. I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV wherever I Cause I'm free in my RV, yeah. This is uh, the storage down here, which is pretty large. I actually, I like this, this floor plan a lot. And uh, of course it comes pre-wired for solar and the uh, light down here and all that. And, uh, and I'm gonna be brief because lunch is here. <laughs> okay. Let me show you the hike real quick. This is the H170S. It comes, of course, with the Asdale on board, the, the Explorer package, the Comfort Tech, the three-year warranty. Um, the Adam just told me this is a, a floor plan based on the Winnie Drop. And um, you have the, the, the front bed here. And uh, what it does, it feels very spacious. And, uh, and you know, one of the, those things, even with the slide in, you, you can pretty much have access to everything, which is really cool. Um, you have the, the Suburban 2 two burner, you have a small kitchen, and of course, the hike is geared more toward, towards the active person, you know, it's more of an, of an adventure vehicle. It has the same newer dinette that goes up and down really easily. We have some, uh, some storage back here. And up here, and look at that. And I, and I like the kind of minimalist decoration, you know, just the grays and the, and the light wood colors and all, the, all these uh, new trailers. As you know, as you've seen, you know, uh, it's been a couple of years now since they went away from, from the dark and wood colors and now everything. It, it, it makes it look bigger, in a sense. USB and GFCI uh, protected uh, outlets up there. And actually, this LED light here looks really nice. It's like a light strip in the kitchen. The TV over here. And then we have this, the bathroom back here, which is actually uh, the, the, sh the shower is the same as, uh, as in, the, my, in, in my current micro mini. But look, look, they have dedicated a faucet now for the shower. And um, you have this here with a little bit of space here for your toiletries and the medicine cabinet. Large mirror, which is, um, which is great. It's, it's great. It's great to have a, 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 a large mirror in the bathroom because um, that way, you know, if, if different height people uh, can, can, can still use it. And, uh, and you know, oh, we have a huge closet here in the bathroom as well. And look, look it goes deep that way. Very nice, your standard domestic toilet, of course. And uh, back here, we have some, some pantry storage and uh, all your regular stuff. Of course, Adam is gonna talk about this a little more on the next video, but right now we're gonna have lunch. So until the next one, thank you for watching and uh, see you on the road. All right, once again, coming to you from Winnebago Toables here in Middlebury, Indiana. And guess who I have next to me? The man himself. I got, I got my own microphone this year. Yeah, this I don't have to. He has his own microphone. We, we, have, to, we have to to socially oh, yes, distance. That's, that's right. That's why I gave him the extra <laughs> microphone. So we don't, you know, so we're not. Uh, but uh, uh, Adam, tell us a little bit about some of the new stuff that you are, you are putting on the micro minis. Yeah, absolutely. So we, we got a, a lot going on this year, a lot of changes. Um, so from the micro minis, uh, we went to uh, the new crosshatch decor. Uh, we, we debuted a little bit of that kind of European styling in the hike last year. Um, dealers loved it. Uh, we went to a couple owners rallies, specifically, you know, minis on the mountains, and we had really good feedback. Uh, we then um, introduced it into our micro mini and mini, and we went to a dealer meeting in Palm Springs back first week of March, right before the world shut down, and it was received really well. So we, we took our COVID shutdown and really had the opportunity to um, work on a placement of things. But our new crosshatch decor with the full overlay cabinet design, uh, some floor plans, we were able to add 10 doors and drawers, um, giving you more storage. 
Um, we went with an accent linen cabinetry. So it's just, it's really not like anything like you would traditionally see out of a travel trailer coming out of Indiana. And we really wanted to pull in some more of those uh, looks from European styling or like a B van or classy Sprinter. So it's a lot of exciting things. Well, as you know, I got some questions from, from you guys, from viewers yep. uh, about, you know, some what you guys wanted to, to, to talk about or ask Adam. And the controversial thing this year has been the, the oven. Tell yep. us a little, bit, a little bit about your decision to remove the, that propane yep. oven and, and get a... Um, so uh, when we kind of talked about doing it, we, we knew there was a lot of chatter of people not liking it or it's not as efficient, not using it. And so when we went to Minis on the Mountain, we specifically asked questions about the oven and, and how do you use it or do you use it or would you use a convection microwave in place of it? And we got a lot of feedback saying that you know, we don't use it or we would be fine with the convection microwave. We have other focus groups um, through our uh, partnership with escapees. Uh, we did some more uh, sample testing there and we got a lot of feedback that people said, you know, hey, we're fine with no oven. We want the storage. You know, if you can give us storage in place of it and if you can give us convection microwave, we're open to it. But the nice thing is, is with your propane three burner or two burner cooktop up there, you still have the the you have the ability to drop an oven in there but it's just it would have to be done after market so or after the a, fact a dealer in style yeah. Or after yep. market, yeah correct yeah. and um, i wanted to ask you something now you have a dedicated uh, heater for the tanks which when before it was just the, the furnace pipe team that's another change this year yeah so we we still have a fully sealed enclosed heated underbelly uh, but this year um some of our fall promotions is just kind of giving you more. Uh, we were listening to what, you know, some of the dealers, but most importantly, what uh, like retail customers were asking for. And so we are giving uh, 12 volt tank pad heaters as uh, starting this fall as kind of our fall promotion. So there will be an interior switch right inside there. Um, we're, you know, looking at power stabilizing jacks uh, where we can be, you know, where applicable um, so that way you don't have to get out and hand crank yeah, yeah, or... A lot of people would love, would, yeah. would love that. Yeah, yep. Yes. And so also a uh, solar panel and charge controller. So depending on the size and level, if you get one or two, um, but we are, you know, offering solar direct from the factory from with the a factory. charge. Which yep. to now has been just pre-wired. Correct. Correct. All right, tell us a little bit about the hike. And I know you told me yesterday that yep. some people have come up with some, some innovative ideas of how to use this exoskeleton. Yeah, so the, the hike, you know, the, the Facebook group, there, there's a new hike Facebook group out there. And I, I, I monitor as much as I can all of, the, all of the Facebook groups, the hike, the micro mini, you know, the, the main mini, the voyage. And we've seen some really cool, um, you know, somebody got innovative and flipped up and they have a dartboard here. Hopefully they have a good shot and don't hit the side of the fiberglass. Um, the washer and the string. Um, I think there was a hammock, he, uh, a guy tied one of the, the ends of the hammock to the exoskeleton, the other end to the tree. Uh, you know, we've got Peter Holcomb, who is a brand ambassador for uh, Winnebago branded products. He's got a Revel and he's towing a hike and, you know, he's got kayaks that a rack that he's attaching to the receiver here. I mean, here you can see in this setting, we do have a bike rack. Um, he ha I've seen kayaks or paddle boards into the bottom nerf bars and secured in. Uh, up top, you can see we do have a Thule. That is just a standard Thule kayak rack that no modifications, it just attaches right to the exoskeleton. So a lot of those Thule and Yakima um, our focus for the hike this year, because again, we, we showed it as a concept in September to dealers, took it to Minis in the Mountains, uh, a couple other owners rallies and got feedback and people were like, yes, we're on to something. So we built about 400 of them in January and February. They started shipping and landing on dealers lots and then the world shut down. And then as the world's opened back up a little bit or slowly opening back up, the, the hike product has really started to kind of grow as a brand. And, and so it's going to be a prominent brand within Winnebago Tobles. But some things we addressed uh, for this, the changes this year, are just pain points directly from dealers and retail customers. So one being a spare tire, we're adding a spare tire as standard. It will be stored up underneath the front of the underbelly there. Um, we addressed kind of the way that the exoskeleton comes together, your front all throughout from the, the how the bars wrap and take the shape. So we added these new T connectors here uh, with a little bit of Winnebago branding. So that was one pain point. The gearbox, 
is uh, slimmed down slightly. We took three and a quarter inches in on each side to help with turning radius. Um, we, we, there was a lot of unexperienced towers out there that were taking too sharp a turns and they were damaging their bumper. So now you will hit the trailer before you hit the gearbox. Uh, we did that. And then we put a uh, riser kit in here. So there's a little slight riser kit in here. So that will help with aftermarket uh, weight distribution hitches. Uh, I, I know there's been a lot of people who have gotten innovative and how they made their, you know, made their version one work. But uh, with this little spacer or riser kit there, it should be able to accommodate most aftermarket hitches there. You're definitely onto something because there's that new demographic. There's more the adventure. The, yes. the one that would buy a Revel, for example. Correct. Would, that, that's the one that would but get something. Not everybody can afford that. 120, 130, 140 thousand dollar price point. Um, they just they want the lightweight, the capacity, the ability to get off the beaten path and and get out and enjoy nature. Especially now when it's it, the the cool thing to do is social distance. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, we we, we want to be out there. Well, thank you, Adam. Anything else you want to add? I mean, I, I know you you've changed all the decor inside and it's been. Yes, yeah, so, you know our Voyage product. We added a, oh, yeah. a black painted cap to the Voyage product. We got the new uh, Brooklyn interior there so just a little bit more modern decor um, still still a great product there built on our w series foundation so really the voyage fifth wheel is full profile amenities mid profile price point drop frame front storage 7,000 pound axles 16 inch g rated tires a little bit of fun with the the road armor and the wheel drums are painted red for that red branding like i said the drop frame front storage gives you massive massive pass through storage the new space saver upper deck so that way you know i'm six foot two i can actually go up in there we've got a front living that's under 40 feet you know a 32 foot rear living where the bedroom you can actually walk around the queen bed and make your bed so really really excited about the fifth wheel lineup the travel trailer lineup you know we're we're still kind of in launch phase we just launched voyage last year when we're doing that trying to bring a brand new state-of-the-art manufacturing building online as well as then it, you get hit with a you know six eight week covid shutdown we're still we're still in launch phase so we're our focus this year is just to get the rest of the floor plans in the fifth wheel and travel trailer lineup out um, and, and to wrap up, you know, I, I know you went through all the micro minis and the changes there, the, the great changes to the Murphy bed, that new sofa sleeper there, um, kind of the redesigned pocket door, more, more storage. Um, another thing, the last thing I want to hit on is the mini line. We had a ton, a ton of focus there going from 14 to 15 inch tires, more flush floor floor plans. So that way we can be more um, innovative and in the offerings for the floor plans. We took the interior height up two inch, two and a quarter inches to be six foot eight, but we're using low profile ACs. So that way we minimize the overall interior height. For people in warmer climates, they were wanting more than just one AC. So now you have a second AC prep, or you can get a second AC from the factory, but we're staying on 30 amp. So a couple key things is 30 amp. It gives you more flexibility in your campground offerings. So you don't have to pay for 50 or premium sites, but running two ACs on 30 amp. We have an integrated energy management system that will automatically shed your microwave, automatically shed your water heater. You don't have to manually, manually go flip a switch or reset your microwave every time. Also, when I was talking about the height thing, we're actually, we're trying to be mindful of what you guys already have for a stock storage facility or a stock pole barn or storage. That way you don't have to modify and go to a 14 foot garage. You can still stay a 12 foot garage. So we, we tried to hit all the pain points that customers were giving us and, and bring that, bring those features into the mini line for this year. And I've seen you're doing more ducted AC on the micro minis too, some of them. Yep. It's, it's, uh... Yep. So more ducted ACs. We're trying to make things quieter. So, you know, we are looking at quiet series ACs. So we're just, we're trying to make the user experience more enjoyable based on what we're, what we're getting from, you know, your feedback, the, your, your channel, the, 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 all the Facebook owners groups. So we're constantly monitoring all that and trying to incorporate what we can in a timely manner. It is, it is great that you are listening to the customers because yeah. that's uh, that's always important and uh, and uh, improving improving the line uh, with, with every year you 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 keep improving it. Well, Adam, thank you so much for inviting me here to, for this Absolutely. sneak peek at the at the 2021s and. Uh, we appreciate you being here and everything, you know, the partnership with you has been awesome. Your followers and it, it's, it's been a lot of fun over the last, you know, since the last year we met at this yeah. time. So we, mm -hmm. we look forward to a long partnership.
Absolutely. Thank you so much. And uh, to you guys, thank you so much for watching as always. And uh, see you on the road. Riding, riding in